Smart air purifiers, they're really not that smart. Hi, my name's Peter Mann with Aronsi, and today we're going to talk about smart air purifiers. Um, I did a video, I don't know, a couple months ago, talking about smart air purifiers, and of all the videos I've done, it's the one that's probably gotten the most negative response, I think, from, I don't know, industry folks or people who, who don't agree with me. But let me explain the, the issue with a smart air purifier. And it's really, it's, you know, modeled after um, an air conditioning system to a certain extent. An air purifier is designed to clean the air. And there's some features in smart air purifiers that are very appealing to people. It's like, well, how do I know what my air quality is? I want to be able to turn it on and off remotely. Um, you know, I want it to adjust speeds if it senses something that's a problem. And an air purifier is, you know, the technology is really in the motor and the fan and moving the air and the filter technology and capturing things as they come through. And then the other things are kinds of bells and whistles or features that are, that are on top of that. The issue is the sensor, you're locating the sensor at the device where the air cleaning is taking place. It's not measuring your room air quality, it's measuring the air quality where the device is, which it's kind of a fundamental flaw. It's like putting your air conditioner temperature sensor where the cold air comes out, not what the, what the room temperature is. It's, you know, those should be located some distance apart, not integrated into the same thing. I, you know, for the argument of, I want to be able to schedule it, run it on and off, you know, an air purifier, if it's designed right, uses very little power. This is our air mend. Uh, model which will do you know do a full-size room and on the lower operating speeds it's like eight watts you know your cable box when it's plugged in just the standby power is 16 watts so on a normal operating speed this air purifier uses half the power of a cable box a smart TV uses typically 5 to 20 watts of standby power. So your TV is not even on, but it's interacting with the internet and whatever. You know, it's drawing, in many cases, more power than, in, than a high-quality air purifier is when operating just normally. And so the idea that you're going to turn it on and off is, is really not from a power-saving standpoint. I, I really... Um, a, a little bit lost as to <laughs> why that is such a, a great benefit. I mean, I could see you want to like boost up the speed before you get home, perhaps. But if you leave it on at a constant speed, it'll maintain the air quality in space. So you don't need to give it that boost and the you know extra noise that you may get on the highest speed. So from an air cleaning standpoint, the the smart technology really doesn't do anything to make your air quality better. Um, really what we recommend is just set the air purifier, put it at a speed where the noise level is acceptable, the highest fan speed possible, <laughs> and then and then just you know set it and forget it. That's really what an air purifier is, and that's how we've designed our products. We put all the technology and all the effort into the best quality filters, the best quality motor um, to you know effectively move the air as quietly as possible, um, and then without all of the extra bells and whistles and so anyways um if you have any comments any questions uh, disagree <laughs> feel free to uh, to comment and uh, we'll we'll get back to you thanks